welcome to Aya's channel! How are you guys doing? Today we are going to do the serve part two. So last time I posted the part one where we talked about the basics, very fundamentals of how to hold the grip on your serve, the stance in which you're supposed to stand when you're going to hit your serve, the toss and where you want to place it and how far up you want to toss it and all the basics to hit the serve. But today we're going to move on to actually hitting it which is probably what you guys are all excited for. So let's get going and we're gonna practice our serve. All right guys, so in the previous video part one, we talked about the very basics. So I just wanna do a quick little review, review before we actually start hitting the balls. So on your serve, we talked about how you wanna hold your grip. You wanna just slide your hand down inside of the racket, spread your head a little bit so you're not holding it like this. You want a little bit of space in between. So that's the grip that we wanna hold. After that, when you're standing on the right side of the center mark, that is the deuce side hitting diagonally into the service box. So that's where you want to aim. So once you have your target, your stance is going to be facing the right side. If you're right-handed, you'll be facing the right side. If you're left-handed, you face the other side. But since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you guys in this way. I'm gonna be facing to my right. My feet are about shoulder width apart right foot is facing the side. My left foot is at a slight angle so that I have more room right here for when I'm turning and I'm getting power onto the ball. So make sure that you're not locking yourself sideways because when you do that, it's very hard to turn right here. So make sure it's at an angle. And when you're making contact, your contact point and your toss is always going to be in front of you. So it's never behind you right here. That's no right here so that you're getting plenty of power. Your shoulder has stability and lots of power. And your toss is going to be tossed up a little bit higher than your racket. So when the ball just stops at its highest point, that's when you want to go and reach up and hit the ball. So you're going to be reaching up for the ball, reach up, 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 and hitting it. So we're going to start practicing your serve now. So I'll let you guys know how we're going to do that. Here we go. All right, so now we're going to start hitting our serve. But before we do that, there's a very important key in order to hit the serve. So first, I'm gonna have my grip, I'm gonna slide it down my racket, I'm gonna hold it, and then watch where my arm is going. So I'm gonna keep my arm next to me, and this angle right here is at 90 degrees. That's very important, you never want it down here, you don't want it too high, you wanna keep it at 90 degrees. And you want your racket string brushing on your pony so it's facing your ponytail, the back of your head, so you never want the racket facing upwards. So when you have your angle right here, 90 degrees, and you have your racket string facing your head, that's how you're going to get your most power. So you want to make sure that it's set here, and this is almost like your trophy position. This is called trophy position, but you want to have your arms set here, so that when you're reaching up, it's going to come naturally. You never want to face your wrist upwards, because that will end up frying it and your racket face will come later, so you don't want that. You want to make sure that it is always going to be in control. 90 degrees here, facing your head. From there, you're going to just drop and reach up. So it's coming up and out in front of you, just like this. All right guys, so as you see, like I said, 90 degrees here. Racket is facing my head right here. You do not want it facing up like this or away from your body, so you want to keep it closer to your head, right here. Because the moment you do this, you're going to lose power, so you never want to have your wrist facing upwards. Make sure that it is facing your head this way. You're going to face here, you're going to toss up, and you're going to hit. All right, so now that we know how to hit the serve, I'm going to start hitting some, and so I want to make sure I'm focusing on what we just talked about. So I have my stance here, I'm going to set my arm, I have my target, make sure that I'm aiming somewhere when you're hitting your serve. Your toss is going to be to the right of you a little bit because your arm is coming up, so you want to be out in front of you and to the right a little bit. So here we go, I'm going to focus and we're going to start hitting some serves. So my racket set here, strings are facing my head, and I'm going to toss and go. Here, I'm going to set, I'm going to toss to the right side, toss and go. Just like that. I know in the beginning there's so much that you have to think about, especially if you're just learning how to hit a serve. You have to think about the positioning and the grip and where you set your racket. 
and I know it can be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, but as we practice and get better and better, it'll be much more natural. So make sure that you're just focusing on each simple thing first, and then making sure that you're checking all the checklists, set your racket, the toss, and once you get those done, it will start building and building and get better. So don't worry, let's keep practicing together. Another huge little secret, a huge tip that will help your serve is a lot of people don't realize, but when they're hitting their serve, you want to make sure that your elbow is actually leading first and coming up before you're hitting your serve. And you guys are probably thinking, what is she saying right now? I know, it's crazy, but imagine like this. Think about it like this. If you have a ball in your hand and you want to throw the ball far and up, how are you moving your arm? throwing it here and you're gonna throw it from your elbow first and then your arm wrist is gonna come around and you're gonna throw the ball right so that means the way that you get power on your serve is the same right so you want to make sure that your arm is starting here 90 degrees but then the elbow comes first reaching up 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 throwing and then catching here so your fall through is going here but you want to make sure that your elbow is leaning because that's where your power is actually coming from so when you're hitting your serve, this is what you want it to look like. You're going to start here. Elbow coming first, reach up, 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 and coming down. So you see how my elbow is coming first and not my wrist. So I'm not starting here and I'm not going to arm it and do this motion. Because then I'm not getting any power and pronation. So how you're going to get that is you're going to start here. Elbow leads first, reaching up and coming down. And once you do that also, the follow through is very important as well. So you're gonna reach up here, elbow coming first, contact point, very high, so you're gonna keep your body up tall, never wanna slap and slouch down. You're gonna stay high, watch your contact point. Once you hit it, you wanna come down across your body and into your left pocket. So you wanna just think about it as bringing the racket into your left pocket. So you're gonna look like this, you're gonna start here, you're gonna reach up, 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 elbow first. Reach up, coming into your left pocket. That's how you wanna look. And when you're doing that, you're getting the rotation starting from here. You're going up, 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 reaching first, elbow first. Contact point, coming around your body so that you're getting the rotation power and the pronation right here.
that's it for today's video, Sir Part 2. How did you guys like it? I hope that this video in any way helps you with your surf or to learn how to hit a surf. In part one video, which I posted before this, I talked about the very basics of how to hit a surf, including how to hold your grip, the stance, and the motion. And today, we moved on to where you want to set your arm in order to swing your racket and how you want to hit the ball so that you're gaining more power and you're getting the best serve that you can possibly hit. So I know in the beginning, it's going to take a lot of practice, when I was younger, I was hitting baskets of serve, you know, lots of quantity, trying to get as much practice as I can. As you do that, you'll start to feel something like, oh, maybe that's how I do it. Oh, I feel that when I do this, I'm able to do that. So you'll start to learn more and more as you hit more and practice more. So practice, good practice makes perfect. So let's try to get there. We keep practicing, working hard, and I know that your serve will get better and better. And after this, I'll continue with slice serve, how to hit more slice, how to hit a flat serve, lots of videos to come. So I hope you guys enjoy my channel. If you do, please subscribe. If you haven't yet, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave that down below. I will do my best to answer them as much as possible. Oh, also, if you guys want to make sure to click that bell mark next to the subscribe mark, that's where you get notifications. If you turn that on, when I upload my videos, it'll tell you that my up my videos are uploaded, so make sure you do that to check out more videos to come. And I hope that you guys really enjoy these videos. I'm such a tennis lover, so I hope you guys are enjoying tennis as just as much as I am. And I hope that I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching!